Hello, in this video we're going to be cracking open the JT4000 and seeing what's inside. We're having a bit of a look at the PCB and exploring what components are on the circuit board. So it's quite a simple process opening up the JT4000 and to do this I've got this tiny little flat head screwdriver. On the back the four screws are actually torque screws but I've tried a variety of Torx screw heads and couldn't get any purchase so in, instead I used this tiny flathead screwdriver which came with my 3D printer. So I'm just going to open up and uh, undo these first four screws and for those who don't know the JT4000 Micro from Behringer is a tiny desktop synthesizer. It's four voice and um, it's got a 12 b uh, DAC DAC and um, it's got an all analog filter so hopefully we'll be able to see some of the bits that make up its sound. But 13 centimeters by around nine and a half centimeters wide. This is a bit of a small device. So um, I think it's going to be tight in the box, but we're gonna give it a go and see what we can see. Right, so with these uh, screws all out, what you need to do if you wanna open it up is push from the back. Um, this took me a few goes to get this right and then the plastics on the front will lever off without too much effort although it can be a little bit fiddly because it's so small there we go first impressions this is a tidy little compact unit the PCB is densely populated and there's not much room to maneuver in fact it's really hard to read the text on the integrated circuits one thing that is nice though is the little LCD display is sharper without a plastic window in front of it. So zooming right in, on the right in the middle there we can see the ARM Cortex CPU. So that's the main brain of this synthesizer. And then we've got the LCD right in the middle. But like I was saying, this is quite hard to read any of the information. So I'm going to take some photographs and zoom in. One of the largest chips on the circuit board is the ARM Cortex M4 CPU. It's around 8mm wide and whilst it's difficult to read the text at the right angle you can get a read of what's on the chip. Below the CPU and towards the bottom of the PCB there's a 32kb EEPROM chip which I'm assuming holds the operating system. Um, then moving over onto the far right between the cutoff and resonance there is a curiously titled AIWITI268AZ7R chip. Um, it's a tiny little chip which I'm assuming has something to do with the filter design and that's because of its location between cutoff and resonance um, but it's difficult to find any information about this particular integrated circuit so I'm having to put two and two together. Another contender for the filter is the Texas Instrument Op Amp, which is on the bottom right hand side of the PCB. It's close enough to the cutoff and resonance controls to make this a viable contender. I'd love it if somebody could comment below and let us know which one they reckon the filter is, because I'm not 100% sure. Across the circuit board, there are these diodes, which I believe are part of the DAC design. Can't find a specific DAC chip but then that could just be me not finding it. And then lastly, there's a Holtec driver for the LCD display, um, which is hidden under the LCD. It's a bit of a challenge to photograph this one, given the location, but I thought I'd include it just in case it's useful to somebody. So if you wanted to get all of these original photos, then I've uploaded them to my website. I'll pop a link in the description. If you're into the JT4000 Micro and want to know a little bit more about it, then have a look at this video where I go through how to use a JT4000 Micro in a doorless setup. 